Hey, thanks so much for being here on uh, Everyday Talk 24-7. It's Monday, July 4th, Independence Day. As you can hear behind me, perhaps, the thunderstorm has just passed, but some of the rumbles are still there. And the reason I wanted to take advantage of being outside here was, as you can see by the title of the thumbnail, I believe that independence is a myth. I think the Bible teaches that. Whether it's on a, the grand scale of a country, whether it's people, individuals, armies, companies, corporations, families, or individuals, we are all vulnerable before God. There is no one that is independent of him. If you read the stories of Nebuchadnezzar, Joseph, you see that God teaches clearly that no one is independent from him. We are all dependent on him. Or another way of saying that is, we are all vulnerable to God. Whether we choose to think that we're vulnerable or not, we are all vulnerable to him. We do depend upon God for our next breath. It's such a key component to understanding life and understanding the times in which we live, where folks actually think they can, can take control of their lives, regardless of what God says, regardless of his word. But if we're gonna be salt and light, we have to be convinced of our vulnerability and not be arrogant ourselves, but realize that we're only here for the opportunity to bring honor to God. That's where true freedom lies. That's where true, if you want to use the term, independence lies. I have the opportunity to serve God. Thankful for a little bit of the uh, weather here and you get a sense of the vulnerability of the power of the storm. Reminds me of what we look, I've looked at before, but it's a good place to look again. In Matthew's Gospel, Jesus has been telling people, you need to follow me. You know, don't worry about your own stuff. Just follow me and things will work out. And then he gets into a boat, and the disciples followed him. They're on the Sea of Galilee, so it's a pretty good-sized boat because it's got Jesus and the disciples, and there's room. And even room for Jesus to take a nap. So anyway, they get on the boat, they follow him, and then without warning, a furious storm came up on the lake, so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him. Lord, save us, we're going to drown. So you see, at that moment, they have a very keen sense of their being vulnerable. None of them at that moment are thinking they're independent. And when we hear thunder, when we see the rain, when we see this power of these storms, we come face to face with the power of God in unusual ways. Because we actually do hear his voice in the thunder. And that's important for us to hang on to. But at this moment, the water is rushing over the bow of the boat. They're very much concerned that they're going to drown. There's no sense at all of being independent. I can handle this. Rather, they're crying out to Christ. And what I'm contending is this needs to be our normal mode of operation. Just as these disciples were at that moment conscious of their need of Christ. And without him caring for them, they would have no hope. They'd be swept away. That's the way it is all the time. We are that dependent upon him. And then Jesus looks at them. He responds to them. You have little faith. Why are you so afraid? And they go, uh, I'm afraid because of all these waters and stuff. Jesus says, he got up, he rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. You hear the thunder now. But God is in control of that. It rebukes the winds and the waves. It's now calm. The disciples were amazed and asked, what kind of man is this? 
even the winds and the waves obey him. See, a moment ago, they were totally dependent upon him, totally paralyzed. Lord, if you don't do something, we're going to drown. We have no hope. And yet Jesus says to them, you have little faith. Why are you afraid? Jesus is in control of all these things. He rebukes the wind and the waves. It's totally calm. And now they're trying to figure out, who is this? What kind of man is this? Who, who, who does this? They're not putting the two things together. That's where the lack of faith is being demonstrated. Jesus is Lord over this storm that's finishing off behind me. The thunder that we're hearing in the background it's the very voice of God, reminding of his power and his greatness. But it also reminds us of our vulnerability to him. And yet in him, we cannot be any more safe. That's what Jesus is telling his disciples. I'm with you. You don't have to freak out. You don't have to lose it. You can have faith. You can trust in God. This mighty power that the thunder represents to us is this power that raised Jesus from the dead. Is the power that you and I have available to us to live this thing we call the Christian life. To the things where it seems like we can't do anything right sometimes. Or it's impossible, we think it's impossible to obey. God says, by my power, nothing is impossible. So as the rain begins to uh, get a little more intense, and there's a little more wind and things happening, I'm just going to leave it with that thought for today. We are not independent. We are vulnerable. But praise God, we're vulnerable to the God who cares for us. We're vulnerable to the one being in the universe that keeps his word. The one person that you and I can totally trust. And these storms are just an indication of the power of God. And no matter how fierce the storm, you and I are secure in our vulnerability before this great God. Don't be sucked in by the myth of independence, because it is a myth. Take this word. Be vulnerable to the truths that are here. And your, live your life out in the power of the gospel of Christ. And that's the thought for this Independence Day. Celebrate your vulnerability before God. Again. Thanks so much for being here. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you soon. Check us out at everydaytalk247.com. Come subscribe, turn on post notifications if anything can come right to you. Thank you so much for your support, for the comments, for the feedback. Um, Q&A Friday coming up this week. So again, Lord bless you. And on this day, celebrate your vulnerability. And Lord willing, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.